I saw relatives, my North Carolina relatives, aunts and uncles, played the piano, several by ear, and I could sort of do that. My older brother was taking piano lessons, and I said, I, I need to take piano lessons. I always studied classical piano and have a degree in that, a master's. And that, for me, that was what you studied. But then I played everything else. I played always the school shows. I played any time anything was needed. From the time I was 10 years old, I was playing for the school assembly because I played better than the music teacher. Meanwhile, I thought, that'll be a nice avocation. And I got a, a bachelor's degree in botany from Duke to be a marine biologist. But I've never had any job. I've never worked except as a musician ever. I never had to get any other kind of job from the time I was a kid because I could do it and people needed it. And so that's, I, I've still not decided what I'm going to be when I grow up. I had a, a wonderful turning point moment. Um, I was prepping music for a big Gershwin celebration at BAM that was going to be on PBS and RAI and BBC that Michael Tilson Thomas was the music director of. And I had done all the music prep for him. I'd gotten everything ready for him to step in at the last moment. And then we shared the conducting of some things during this same festival. And he, he wrote me this beautiful little note, little drawing, little note that said, you are the real thing. Until that moment, it hadn't occurred to me that I could play with the big kids. You know, I just knew I'd always be doing music, but I'd just been working with him and with Bernstein and Barishnikov and just amazing people. And he was like, yeah, that's, you can play with us. Let's see, well, this year I got to Machu Picchu and the Galapagos, and those were, those were big. Um, I want to spend three months in Paris sometime just to f sense, you get a feeling for what it's like to live there. That would be, that's on my list.